Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome back to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. We're here at Glitzville, getting ready to leave and go back with our newfound star, which I actually haven't even looked at yet. Uh, where is it? Gold star. And I don't even know what that does. Let's go, my fish friend. Thank you very much. Let me get on board. It's time to go back on off of the flying town, onto the flying blimp, onto the non-flying ground. Excellent. And we're free to go. So we need to go see, I think, Professor What's-His-Face first? Or no, no, we do that afterwards. Yeah, we do that afterwards. Okay, so we go take the star to the underground. We get a new map thingy. Actually, I think this... Oh, mail! Gonzalez, you got an email. Okay. Dearest Mario, I have uncovered something terrible. These things, the x knots they're planning to take control of the world. It's to that end that they're searching for the crystal stars. I still don't know what the crystal stars do, but you must try to get them all. I will gather what information I can. Princess Peach. Those dudes want to rule the world? That would stink. <laughs> yes, it would. Is this a shortcut down there? I mean, down to where the crystal star thing is. Let's find out quickly. Oh, crap. Hmm. Impromptu fight? I think so. Uh, crap. Uh, no, no, no cans. That's right, get out of here. Lousy customers. Or lousy peoples. Yes, praise me and my invisible confetti. Or my confetti that comes from nowhere. Excellent. One point. We'll make sure to use that well. Ooh, I do like that though. Okay, so I need to get across to there. I think that's how the shortcut works. Uh, what's me? Wait, no, 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 now I remember. I think if we go down here, does this lead to the pit of a hundred trials? Because that's right next to it. Um I might be confused. Let's find out. Yeah, I think I'm confused. Okay. Um, does this lead to the Pit of 100 Trials? Yes, okay. So here's the shortcut. We just go over here. We climb up here and I think... This sounds like a room. Yes, it is a room. Okay. Excellent. You ready? Whoop, whoop. And it's power time. I feel like I should come up with a saying to say right now. But I probably shouldn't. <laughs> Look how shiny it is. It's a magical map with floating power abilities. Wow, laser beams! So, tell me, Magical Map, where are we going next? A little foresty area, maybe? And there's a red one down there. Cool. I'm pretty sure, um... Wow, I cannot remember his name. The location of a crystal star has been recorded on your Magical Map. Excellent, excellent. I can't remember what his name is. The professor guy. Hey, that shows where the... Frankly, there we go. That shows where the fourth crystal star is. Can't that Frankly guy read it? That'd be cool, but first we better tell him what Princess Peach's email said, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Whoa! 
what? That's how he says what, by the way. The group that kidnapped Princess Peach has been on Total World Conquest? Uh-huh, you got that right. That's why those jerks need that legendary treasure. Hmm. This doesn't bode well. The situation has gotten far more serious than I thought. Let me bring you up to speed. I've been researching just what this treasure could be. One book I came across held to what I thought was a preposterous, preposterous theory. This book claimed that the treasure was in actuality the Great Cataclysm. The very cataclysm that a thousand years ago sank that town underground. So, these jerks think the power of that cataclysm will help them rule the world? I can't say for sure what they will do or why, but we must consider the possibility. Now that things have come to this, we mustn't let them near the legendary treasure. Now that's all that matters. Because if they do get it, then once again this town... No, the entire world could be destroyed. Then out with it, Prof. We gotta find that next crystal star super quick. Hmm, according to the map, it appears the next crystal star is in Twilight Town? Twilight Town. To tell you the truth, I don't know much about the place myself. Only rumors. I have heard that, as the name implies, it's perpetually dim and eerie there. Wait just a moment. For what? How did you pick that up? With your face? Oh, sorry. Aha! There appears to be a pipe to Twilight Town somewhere here in Roadport. I do believe it's somewhere underneath the west part of town. Yes, definitely. If you get stuck for any reason, just come back and see me again, okay? Under the ground in the west part of town? Sure. Gotcha, Prof. Come on, Gonzalez. Let's go. Time to break out. Okay, so we said the west part of town. Ooh, Macho Cabo. Cool. Um. Oh, email. I like emails. I think this is the Rogue Port emails. Oh, not the hot dog. Mailbox SP. No, Koopy Coop. Dear Mario and Coops, I hope you two are doing okay. I have to admit, with Coops gone, I haven't been doing very well. I get lonely and go into Coops' house and smell that Coop smell. I guess it's your cologne or whatever, but it makes me so sad. I've gotten used to your smell, Coops. Oh, and the thing is, your dad, Coopley, has a has his own smell, and it's weird. I think maybe it's the smell of Folktales Cut. That's disgusting. Oh, I grossed myself out. Oh, and since he's gonna be my dad too someday, I better get used to that smell, huh? Oh, what am I writing? I'm so embarrassed, but I'm sending this anyway. Hee hee. Love Koopy Kid. And there's a picture. Okay. Oh, you're seeing me falling asleep. Uh huh. Okay, so. West part of town. I assume it's down that grate we were looking at. Ooh, what are you out here for? Oh, it's just your brother's shop. I don't care. Ooh, what, do you have anything important to sell? Dread, no. Bushi makes you invisible. Maybe. Jump man, increase your jump power by one, but lose your hammer ability. That seems kind of helpful. And slow go? Why do they sell them these crap items that don't do anything? <laughs> I have no idea. Okay. Anyway, uh, nothing there really of much use. The jump man looked interesting, but I like hammering more than jumping, really, so it's fine. <gasps> ooh, ooh, new story. Got some guy that looks like a cherry. Well, I got my second piece of the Marvelous Compass at the Plump Belly Village recently. Oh boy, I really got my hands dirty that one, I'll tell you what. It was pretty wild, bro. Want to hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. Of course we do. Let me grab a drink of water. Ah, sounds good to me. And Plump Belly Village. You know, if I hadn't already eaten, this would have made me really hungry. <clears throat> well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here goes. Once we made landfall on the Strudel Continent, we made for Plump Belly Village. Once we got there, though, we immediately noticed something was wrong. We learned from the mayor that the town was ruled by a giant snake named Hisa. Oh, look, they're already asleep. He said his own daughter was going to be offered up as a sacrifice to this beast, too. So, of course, being heroic, 
I offered myself up to go in her steed. Brave, huh? Now the custom was for sacrifices to be dressed as brides, so I got all dolled up. I was one hot sacrifice, bro. <laughs> I looked so good, I fooled our foes and got into his, his lair. It was kinda rough fighting in that gown, but I managed. Chafin... Chafin really chafes, bro. I finally found Hisa, and the snake had a second head on its tail. Talk about scary. I fainted real quick, but when I came to, I managed to distract both heads. It reared up fangs bared to attack, and at that moment, I definitely lunged left. His gaping mouth smashed into one another, and he vanished into a cloud of smoke. A shining plate fell down on the spot where his haze's body had been coiled. Yes, another compass piece. I set it and it pointed east to Circuit Break Island. Just as I was about to leave town, the mayor asked me to stay and marry his daughter. I thought about it. She was sorta of cute, but we ended up sneaking off the next morning. I mean, I still have to save Princess Eclair from the Chestnut King. And when the Marvelous Compass activated this time, I heard someone's voice. It was so beautiful, bro. I'm certain it was Princess Eclair's voice. My heart began to race. That's when I realized it. Princess Eclair, I think I... Oh, uh, I kind of zoned out there. Uh, so, yeah. We set sail again after ditching town. And somehow we managed to get back here to Roadport. And here I am. Oh, yeah. No, no, crap. Sorry. No, no, I don't care about your crepes or your Princess Eclair. I accidentally pressed the A button, not the B button. Oh gosh, you fell asleep after hearing like 15 seconds of text. Hi, I guess. I'm Jerry. I'm a, a bomb mom from Plump Belly Village. Nice meeting you. Sorry, that sounds so down, but you would too if you saw Luigi dressed as a bride. I'm serious. It scared me. I honestly thought er, that was honestly scarier than that giant snake thing. I feel now I have a moral duty to stop Luigi from ever dressing as a bride again. I have to uh, protect the world from my fate. That's why I'm sticking close to this guy. Wow, so sad. Okay. Ready? Wah! Okay, so... Did my, why can't I land on that? Um, oh crap, didn't mean to go down that pipe this time. Can I go back up it? Yeah, okay, cool. Well, unless it's to the left. Let's check over here since we're already down here. Anything over here? There's a thing, but... I can't go through water. At least not yet. Okay. Whoop, 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 whoop. He'll never catch me on my tiny abused Yoshi. Okay. Uh, we need to head back to the surface and then get thrown back down here. I need to make that jump, but there's something going on with my perception or something, and it's odd looking. Oh, and while we're over here, you know what we need to do? We need to go check the board, see if we want anything. No matches. Give me my mushroom. You sometimes do win things from it, so it's good to check it every once in a while. Okay, let's figure out what's going on here. I keep jumping here and I miss it. Is it supposed to be right here where I jump? Ah, it would appear that way. Okay. Oh, this looks different. Whoa. Um, what's up with all this? Let's talk to these people, see if they have anything important to say. Hey, Mr. Adventure. You know, I used to have a pot in him, named Pierre. But when he went broke, he turned to a life of crime. It was sad, really. I wonder where he is now. I have no idea. Okay, what do you gotta say? Oh, I get it. You're trying to open that giant doorway down there, aren't you? What do you think is behind that thing, huh? Probably riches. Yo, Eddie the Mask here. Sports fan extraordinaire. You know about the stylish moves? Yes, I do. Yes, I don't want to talk about stylish moves. Try pressing A just for Goombella leaves into the air. Um, thanks, I guess, but I, I really didn't want to learn about that. I already know about them. And 
now. I think there's something... Yep. Excellent. It doesn't seem to open. What about these two houses? With the magical stone slidey thing. Oh gosh, you people look freaky. You got anything cool to say? Sorry, uh, I had to make a quick cut there. Someone was revving their engine really loud. This is a special refuge for all for all where we cultivate information. Herb Tea's place. Sit back and enjoy yourself. I know stuff too, seriously. Like, ooh, when the wind blows, the cradle will fall. I just don't know why it falls, because no one tells me. Yeah, howdy! My name's Wonky and I just know stuff. I may not look like much, but I know a thing or two. You better believe it. And who knows? The stuff I know may even be stuff that could help you. So if you want to ask me a question, just speak up and ask away. <laughs> Something you want to ask old Wonky, right? If you pay me five coins, I suppose I can tell you about monsters' weaknesses. Uh, so, well, since we've got so many from that wrestling thing, I, I suppose we could spend five. There are a lot of mean monsters in this world, but many have weaknesses. Everyone knows that fire monsters are weak against ice, and vice versa. But flying monsters are weak against wind, and they tend to get easy dizzily. Er... Dizzy easily. And sometimes machine and cloud monsters can be easy to freeze the most. I've even heard that it's very easy to put piranha plants to sleep. I'd say, try out some of these things and see if you can find all monsters' weaknesses. And that is that. If you need anything else, just ask old Wonky, who rips you off. Um, though that wasn't a bad thing, I suppose. Oh, a visitor, eh? Hey man, this dude knows everything. He'll give you some seriously good advice. Of course, you'll have to pay him for it. That's the way it goes. Oh gosh. I seem to be having the hiccups, actually. Not like loud hiccups, but quiet hiccups. And we got a store. Oh, they sell gold? What's, what's gold good for? Oh dang, man. Look at, look at all this stuff. They got the ultra shrooms and the jam and jellies. That's nice. They even get gold. Um, not that I need to purchase gold, but still they have it. And is there anything back here, I wonder? I'm not seeing anything. Okay. I honestly don't know what this section's for, though. Ooh. Nope, nope, open. Stop, stomp. Execute to make enemies soft, which I think makes them take more damage if I'm correct. Oh, there's a guy over there. But I can't get over there till I can blow that up. Hmm. Okay. Well, I think there's still a few more places we can look over here. Oh, crap. I really don't want to fight them, but we'll do it anyway. Whoa! Frozen! Movement will be impossible for a while. Oh, ain't that lovely. <laughs> Just random damage from sprayers on screen. I wonder if this guy's spikes hurt you when he's frozen. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. That wasn't smart. Really? Come on, stop hitting me with crap. Okay. Power lift briefly increases your party's attack and defense. I kind of want to see what this looks like, since we just got it. Line the cursor with the good panels and press A. Ah, okay, so how many you get is how much attack and defense you go up. That makes sense, actually. Not that that was terribly helpful in the situation, but I mean, it could be useful in the future, right? Mushroom. 
that was good compensation. Okay. What is this X for? How do I get up there? Um, oh! I'm such an idiot. Every time we get one of these puzzles where you have to use the Yoshi, I just, I just completely blink out. But I think what we have to do is we just flutter over to the left side, and we should be able to make it. Let's try that. Yes, excellent. We can't open this yet, I don't think. Nah, my hammer's not strong enough. I think this leads to that piece over there I want to get. Yes, I saw star piece and I want to get it. I feel like Mario runs really slowly when he's in these background scenes. Kind of bothers me. That's okay though. We've got a star piece now. That's actually not a bad shortcut. I'll take a heart down for a shortcut. <laughs> and we've got a door with a random pipe to Twilight Town. Whoa. The pipe rejected you. Uh. Why did it reject me? It rejected me again. Okay, let's figure this out. Uh, maybe she'll have something to say about it. We're down below Roadport. There's a pipe here that connects to Twilight Town. Thanks. That's helpful. Um. Hmm. Well, if I can't get in there, let's go talk to Professor Frankly. He'll, maybe he'll have some information. I'm tired of fighting this dumb enemy. I really am. I'm so tired. <laughs> this dumb enemy. Here, uh, let's... Uh, it's not gonna work. Yep, I, I'm so tired of fighting. No, my precious coins. My five precious coins. I could have gotten more information from that random guy. Frankly time. I love riding this Yoshi, like the sounds it makes and it's just it's just so awesome. <laughs> Ooh, and you know, I think we could upgrade this guy too now that we're here. I think we've got enough of these. Let's upgrade this Yoshi so he has more than ten health. Sir Fred. Yes, let's power up Sir Fred. Shazibi! Shazubi! We're in space! Yoshi in space, Yoshi in space, gotta get space, gotta get space. I'm in space! Dad, Dad, I'm in space. Then you may go. Nope, nope. Nope. Whoop. Uh, what was it? Okay, let's see what he's got now. Whoops. Okay, he's got mini egg. Throw eggs at enemies to shrink them to tiny size, so that could be interesting. Along with, of course, now he's got 20 health, which is much better than 10 health. Tell us how to fix it. Yo, Prof, we found you piped, and that thing's all stopped up. We tried and tried, but we can't break through it. Got any drain cleaner? What? You can't get through the pipe, you say? How odd. Hmm, I'm afraid I haven't the foggiest idea of what you should do. Wait, I do have a foggy idea. Of course. I've heard that a fellow from Twilight Town lives here in Roadport. If anybody knows how to get through the pipe, it'll be him. His name was, a uh, dang, what was it? Ah, uh, yes, the lover of dark places, Darkly. I've seen him loitering right here in this part of town in the past. Look for Darkly. Which, I actually remember where he is now that I think about it. Remember this weird guy back here that said he liked dark places? Yeah, this guy right here. 
Hi there. Name's Darkly. You guys need something? Holy. Huh? You want to know how to get through the pipe to Twilight Town? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Couldn't be easier. You just need to have something that has your name written on it. Don't you have anything that has your name written on it? Come on, everyone does. <laughs> no? No? Really? Uh, okay, hang on. I'll write it for you. What's your name? Mario. Mario, huh? Oh, okay, I'll write it here on the CD or overalls. M-A-R-I-O. Right? There. Perfect Amundo. While I'm at it, I'll write your partner's name, too. What's your name? Sir Fred, baby. Sir Fred. Hey, watch where you're drawing, buddy. I don't know what Aaron is taking you to Twilight Town, but I hope it goes well. I'll be rooting for you. You'd be rooting for me. Is, it, is there something dangerous there, perhaps? Is that what you're attempting to tell me? And I just thought about it. There's something else I want to do over here. So, over here, there's a way to cross if you have Yoshi. Actually, is that a hole? No, that's not. Okay. First off, I know there's a star piece back here. There's up here one of these things. Oh, who are you? I forgot who you are. Good afternoon to you, sir. I'm called Grifty, the traveling minstrel. Minstrel? I spend my days here in leisure, spinning tales that spin the senses. I know but a few of the stories that surround the town of Rogueport. If you like, I can share them with you, but it requires just a few coins. Is there a tale you want to hear? These are the tales I can tell you now. Um, I'll get him to read one for us, and if you guys want more, tell me. Uh, the Fearsome Demon. For a mere five coins, I can share with you the tale of the Fearsome Demon. Tell me the tale. Ages ago, the city flourished here in peace and splendor. But it was destroyed in a single day by a demon from the dark beyond. Historians claim a great calamity befell the city, but nay, twas a demon. The city sank below ground, and one quarter of the old city became the demon's den. This demon put fear into the hearts of all men and sent out minions to take the land. In its den, its palace grew rich with the treasures stolen from all over the world. If there's yet another tale you wish to hear, just ask. And I'm not going to read anymore unless you guys ask. Um, I don't think there's any other reason to be up here. Oh, I think later on we can get into that, but not now. Okay, so we've got our name written on our clothing, which theoretically should get us through. However, we are at 28 minutes perfect timing to for a nice break. And next time we'll come back, we'll go to Twilight Town, and... Can I see his name? No, you can't see his name. Okay. That's okay. We'll worry about that next time. So anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!